This video shows you how to use the defeaturing tool in 3D experience. When performing physics simulations, we often remove small chamfers, fillets, and holes located in non-critical regions. This can dramatically reduce the number of elements required, without affecting the accuracy of the simulation. Now, let's defeature a part. The defeaturing tool is located in the simulation model prep app. To demonstrate its functionality, we will use the lock pin from the trailer hitch assembly. This part has a number of features that are well suited for defeaturing. We will start by examining the chamfer filter. You see that I can specify a maximum and a minimum cord length. With both options enabled as shown, this will remove the chamfers larger than 25 mm and smaller than 40 mm. For the pin, we only need a maximum value. The chamfer filter functions a bit differently compared to the other filters. We need to input the cord length as an integer. This is best explained using an example. The chamfer, on the left end of the pin, has a cord length of 1.5 mm. If we specify a maximum value of 1.6 mm and click Preview, we get a warning message that the filter has not removed any chamfers. If we increase the value to the integer value of 2, the chamfer will be removed. Next, let's add a fillet filter. The fillet filter also allows us to specify a maximum and minimum value. With these settings, we would remove fillets between 2 and 10 mm. For the pin we only need to specify a maximum value. We enter a value of 0.6. As you can see this removes all fillets smaller than 0.6 mm. Finally, let's create a hole filter. For holes, we can filter on both the diameter and depth of the hole. For the pin. We specify a maximum value of 3.5 mm. This removes an hole smaller than 3.5 mm.